Welcome to episode nine fifty. David Cheriton, richest professor billionaire in the world, from Canada and Stanford. This is an outline of episode nine fifty. His message: Everybody should be an entrepreneur. Things.、Um, I think.、Um... To me, I have this more abstract notion of entrepreneur, which is that everybody should be an entrepreneur. That you have certain value bring to the society. So I think、uh, an entrepreneur is somebody who thinks in those terms of what value am I bringing, and you know, am I bringing this in a way that that should give me the rewards that that I'm after. And I don't view this purely as financial rewards. I think. You know, some people work hard to develop their value to society so that they can be engaged in things that they enjoy doing, or they challenge to do, or they like doing, and so on. He was born in Vancouver, Canada, in 1951. In 1973, he graduated from the University of British Columbia with a degree in mathematics. He earned his master's and PhD in computer science from the University of Waterloo. After that, he was assistant professor back at University of British Columbia. In 1981, at the age of 30, he became professor at Stanford University. His specialty is distributed systems. At Stanford, he met his most important business partner, the German Andy Bechtelsheim. He co-founded Granite System with Antti Bechtelsheim in 1995. A year later, he was a multi-millionaire when Cisco acquired Granite System for 220 million dollars. Now flush with cash, he made his most famous investment in Google. The year was 1998. After a meeting with Google founder Sergey Brin and Larry Page. He wrote them a one hundred thousand check, which is twice the amount of money the Google founders asked for. His partner Andy Bechtelsheim also invested a hundred thousand dollars in Google. Today, the Google investment is the bulk of his fortune. In 1998, the same year he invested in Google, he also invested in Diane Green and VMware. VMware、uh, is another thing where I was an early investor in VMware, and、uh, again, I sort of label this as virtual machines rise again because、uh, this wasn't the first instance of somebody developing virtual machines. So. I was、uh, involved in hiring Mendel Rosenblum, one of the founders of VMware at Stanford, and、um, sometimes I pick good people, and Mendel was a good pick for a faculty member. I got to know his wife Diane because both of us windsurfed, and she's better than I am. Cheriton <laughs> would go on to fund twenty other tech companies, and one of his most famous company was Arista. In 2014, in 2020, David Cheriton is the richest professor billionaire in the world. Now, how he views the world: his three waves of computing. First wave: human productivity, for example, spreadsheet. Second wave: human connectivity, for example, email and internet. And we are now in the third wave: automation, human automation. But somehow didn't sound quite right. But、uh, I think the third wave is this automation of things we normally associate with human beings having to do. So when you look at Uber and Waymo and so on, they're automating transportation. And it's not just those companies; it goes beyond that. Like you have Caterpillar Tractor developing. You know, self-driving bulldozers.、Uh, Airbnb is automating hospitality. Katera is another company I'm involved in, which is automating big parts of construction and supply chain.、Uh, Casper is another one that's automating smart apartments, and of course, Abstro, which I'm heavily involved in, is automating the data center auto,、uh, management. So I think we're seeing this 
whole trend to automating a whole bunch of things. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and leave your questions and comments below. My next video will be David Cheriton, Nine Lessons, wishing everyone peace and prosperity.